Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. Today I want to demonstrate how quick and easy it is to integrate your reseller web hosting account with us here at NameHero.com to your WHMCS installation. So if I navigate over here to our reseller hosting page, you can see that our corporate reseller plan comes with WHMCS. Now, if you've been in the industry for a while, you understand that WHMCS is um, the most popular billing and web hosting management software that's on the in the market today. And it basically allows your customers to sign up on your website and get set up on your reseller account. And then it handles all the billing and suspending if they don't pay and it unsuspends if they do pay and allows them to register domains and pretty much it manages everything for you. All you have to do is, is just help the customers if they have any trouble in between the process. So I definitely recommend using it and it's very popular at Name Hero because it does come complimentary with a corporate reseller account. Um, so feel free to click that WHMCS logo if you're not familiar with it and you can check out their website and even demo the software right there from their site as well. But anyways, today I want to show you how, how to connect your reseller account with the software in just a couple of quick steps. So my account's already set up, so I want to log in. So I'm going to go up here to the right and click log in. I'm going to enter my um, email address and my password, and that's going to take me into the Name Hero dashboard. So from here, I want to click on Cloud Web Hosting. And then I want to select my reseller account. You can see it's right here, reselltalk.com, the startup. That is my demo account. And so this is the information I'm looking for, the server information. So I'm going to stay right here. And in another tab, I'm going to go to my WHMCS admin area. Now, I've got another video that's on my YouTube channel that you can make sure and check that out um, on installing WHMCS. So if you don't have that installed, you need to do that first. So I've got it installed, so I'm going to log in with my admin credentials and click log in. And when I log in for the first time, um, WHMCS has this awesome little wizard they've set up. Now, I really like this because this helps you do almost all the initial setup that you need to do. Before they added this wizard, you had to actually go into the configuration section of WHMCS, which was a little bit confusing, especially for those that have never used it before. So you, this little wizard is pretty cool because it goes through step by step. And you can see we can enter our company name, we can upload our logo, um, our email address and our physical address for the invoices, the country we're in and the language. We can also um, integrate our PayPal accounts. So we can begin accepting payments. And then they also have a um, merchant account set up, which is pretty cool. If you don't have one, you can um, click this and apply. Now, since I'm doing this demonstration on just connecting the um, reseller account, I'm not going to enable these. I'm going to uncheck them. But um, you, you might definitely want to um, continue on with that yourself. Now, also, if you want to sell domains or offer um, domains to your customers, um, WHMCS is now partnered with Enom to provide a um, complimentary reseller account. We also provide a um, complimentary Enom account at Name Hero. So you can you can use this one or you can use ours. It doesn't matter either way. Um, but what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to disable this since I'm not demonstrating this at this time. Okay, what I do want to talk about is this last step, and this is connecting your first server. So this is where you connect your reseller account with Name Hero. So I'm going to go back over here, and this is the information I need. So I need first to enter the server name. So you're going to notice that we have white labeled all of our server names. So it's called mark.uswebhost.com. And so if you go to uswebhost.com, it's just a blank white page. So this way, your customers never see Name Hero. They don't know anything about us. Even though we manage your space for you, they know nothing about us. They don't ever see Name Hero. It's white labeled. So when they go to US Web Host, they're just going to see a blank white page. And you can explain that to them that that's just the domain that your servers live on. So we'll go back to WHMCS and this is where we want to enter that server name. It's in the host name field. Okay, now we need to enter our reseller username and password to connect to it. So sometimes people forget and sometimes people lose their emails. So what I recommend doing is going over to here, um, hovering over your name here and go down to email history. Now I'm going to try to open it in another window here. And you can see all the emails that we send you are archived right here. So this way there's no, never any guessing about um, 
you didn't get an email or you can't find it because it's right here in the interface. So we can click view message and you can see, you should read this, take some time to read this email because we do cover um, a lot of steps that you need to do to set up your um, account. We go through registering the name servers and everything that you need um, to do to be successful with the reseller account at Name Hero. But anyways, this is the goodies we need right now. We need this username and password. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this username and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna grab that password which is right here because that's what I need to connect everything. So I go back to WHMCS and enter my password. Now to make sure it's all good, we're gonna verify the connection. It just takes a second. You can see if it's green, you're good to go. Now if you get if you get a red failure, then we have to obviously um, address that. So you can feel free to reach out to our support team at any time, but if you're using the credentials directly from that email, you shouldn't have a problem. It should be very simple. And there's also another way to connect um, reseller accounts inside of WHMCS, but I'll get it to that towards the end of the video. Okay, so now we we can name this um, server here Mark. This is how you know which account this is. So what we see at a lot of name uh, what we see a lot of at Name Hero is our customers don't just have one reseller account. They have one reseller account to start, but as their business grows. They want more reseller accounts. It only makes sense. You don't want all your customers on the same reseller account. You want to have multiple. So when your business grows and you get large, and we have some customers that have hundreds of reseller accounts. So if that's the case with you, or if you have more than one reseller account, you have to be able to identify which account is which. So a good way to do that is just labeling it in here. And so you can call it Mark. You could call it Mark NH for Name Hero, or you could name it whatever you're going to use to identify that. I'm going to keep it as Mark, but uh, and you can change that later. Next, we have to enter the primary IP and the name servers. So let's go right back to our WHMCS or our, our dashboard here. And you can see that um, here's our name servers. And if you have a dedicated IP, it will be above here. You'll have a, a your dedicated IP will be above here. And so a lot of customers do want to order that. But if you don't, you can if you just have a um, account with a, a shared IP, you can click list accounts and you can grab it right here. So I'm going to take this and go right back into here. So our primary IP is going to be this. And then our name servers, NS1 and NS2. And it pre-populates it for you, but um, you can go always get it from here if, if you um, need to look at that again. Okay, so that's it. We'll click Next. And it's going to set everything up for you. So that's as quick and easy as it is to integrate your account. Now, if I go to Setup, Products and Services, in servers, this is where I see what I just set up. So you can see Mark as a server, there's the IP address. Now I can even click here and quickly log into Web Host Manager. So I don't have to worry about fumbling through my passwords and going to WHM and in their URL, I can log in directly from WHMCS, which I think is really, really cool. Um, but if you, if you need to edit at any time the server information, you can click this um, edit button and you can, um, put any additional information in here. So let's look at this. Now remember, we said this is the to, for us to, to identify the server. So no one's going to see this specific name. What people will see is the host name. So you want to make sure you use the white labeled um, host name of the server. If you have more than one IP address, because you can buy additional IPs from us at Name Hero, you can enter them in here. And then you can put, put the monthly cost of your account. Now this is, I've got a startup account here, so it's going to be 9 95 and I can leave that in there data center NOC you can just put name hero this is how many accounts you want to allow on it uh, by default it's 200 and it's really up to you because we don't limit you on the number of accounts we only limit you on your space and bandwidth so you could it could be 50 maybe it's 100 but um, I'll just leave it at 200 um, you can upload the server status page if you would like. Um, the documentation on that is on whmcs.com. And then if you want to disable a server, it's there. And finally, you can enter the IP addresses for your name servers in here. Not required, but recommended. So I'll just go ahead and grab this, put it in here, grab this one, and put it over in here. Okay. So finally, there's one more thing that you can do. And again, you don't have to, but sometimes this makes it um, a little bit more secure. And that's using an access hash instead of your password. So if we go back into Web Host Manager, we can click remote access key. And you can see here is our access key. So I can just copy this. Whoops. I can copy all of this. And I can paste it in here. Whoops. And copy. Maybe I can copy it. 
But this is just another way to secure your account so you're not using a password, you're using a whole access um, hash and just keeps it more secure. So if you'd rather use that, you can. And you can sit here and play with it and make sure that um, everything works and successful. Um, you wanna make sure you're using SSL and the port 2087 and then we'll click save. So it's connected. So that's all you have to do. And if you didn't, if you already closed out the um, wizard that sets this up for you, you just simply click add new server from here. And then you just go through what we just um, demonstrated. And so if you get a new, another reseller account, you just come right in here and you set it up just as we just covered. So um, about five, six minutes, you can have your reseller account at Name Hero tied into your web post um, management system and you're all set from there. If you have any questions or if you have any problems setting yours up, feel free to comment on this video or you can always reach out to our support department. We'd be more than happy to help you set this up and get it going. Um, thanks so much for watching though. Enjoy your reseller account with WHMCS at namehero.com.